Hey friends, we have discussed about in our know, lecture that is how a coherent body has been formed. By doing a mod formation, we can also know that there will be force of attraction also, there will be force of repulsion also between the like charges. As well as uh, we, in this case, we are going to talk about that uh, how the kind of force of uh, attraction or how are the force uh, that we could see in the, the formation of a coherent body. So let us talk about. <music> So this is the diagram that I have represented over here and uh, this uh, represents that these are the two atoms that are been forming covalent bond and uh, because of uh, uh, the valence shell that are been present or the electrons that are been present on the valence shell they are mainly responsible for us to form uh, the bond and uh, that is the reason that we could say uh, that not only uh, that we have discussed about the valence bond theory but uh, based on that also and uh, based on various conditions we could see that uh, there would be force of attraction. So, in this case, suppose if you are observing that the electron is the one that has been revolving in the valence shell of this atom, suppose if I have named it as A and this atom that I have named it as B. So even during revolution of this electron, obviously there will be kind of a repulsion between the other uh, electron uh, of the other atom and that is the reason I have represented here with R and there will be force of repulsion between these two and uh, there will be force of repulsion over here. But there also could be the force of attraction and that because of the force of attraction only we could see that the covalent bond has been forming. So this electron of the atom A can have an attraction towards the nucleus of the uh, of the atom B because they both are of opposite charge so therefore there will be force of attraction. But meanwhile talking about uh, the nucleus, the nucleus is of positive charge so even the, both the nucleus they will come interact with each other obviously they will feel a repulsion and uh, that's the reason that uh, the force of repulsion will be more in this case. Uh, but talking about the force of attraction, again in this case basically the nucleus of A will have an attraction with the electron of uh, B. So I am representing it over here. So obviously there will be force of attraction and now here because of the electron of A and now electron of B they both will have force of uh, repulsion or uh, they will feel uh, repulsion. And uh, in this case how the covalent bond will be formed? It is possible. If all the force of attraction that are basically present in this uh, or the uh, possibility that we could see over here if they are basically more than compared to that of the force of repulsion obviously the force of attraction will be more in that case and that's the reason that the A and B they both will combine with each other so as to form a covalent bond but what if the force of repulsion is more compared to that of the force of uh, attraction obviously in this case the A and B the both they both don't will form bond with each other and that's the reason that they will be uh, they will stay in uh, atomic uh, form even though having a certain kind of criteria. So this is the interacting force that I am talking about. And now let us talk about the energy. Energy plays a very vital role in understanding this uh, concept. So talking about the energy, if uh, the force of attraction is more between A and B, then we could see that the energy uh, will decrease. And this energy is decreased because obviously we could say that uh, during the combination, obviously they both will attract each other and that's the reason that the energy would be released. And the energy that has been left out, in this case, suppose if it is less, then we could say that uh, the compound would be more stable. And that is how we could say that the covalent body has been formed. And what if the energy uh, between uh, in between these two is more? So obviously we could see that, uh, yeah, that the compound, uh, that is the molecule that has been formed, that is because of A and B, they have not bonded very firmly and uh, that's the reason that uh, the covalent bond will not be formed uh, up to that extent. So that is how uh, because of the energy also it depends and uh, the force of attraction also. So this was a short uh, uh, thing that I want to, to explain to you. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know that what are the various uh, interactive forces uh, that uh, could form a covalent bond. So I hope you have liked this and you share this video with the friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.